Yep. I know. Okay. Welcome, everyone. I just got off the phone with corporate. They're not happy with our ratings. Oh. I think I think we're going to be canceled again. No, not again. Uh, it's just the writer strike. They kind of fast tracked us into producing more Six Flags shows, and we're not coming through. The ratings are are poor. Yeah. So, with that being said, who knows? This could be our final episode, and it's not very good. So, welcome to the Six Flags show. Anyway, in Six Flags news, this is a couple weeks old now, they got, uh, they're hiring, and it looks like you just need to be 16 years old, starting pay $15 to be a ride operator. You can actually work at Six Flags at 14, like emptying out, uh, uh, like garbage and sweeping up and stuff like that. So you could be working at Six Flags, Saint like Caleb. So when you're 16, do you want to be a, a ride operator? I don't think they should trust me. I don't know. I want to trust me operating. You want, or do you want to be a, or do you want to be a smooth operator like me? Anywho, uh, it looks like you get to before the park opens. You get to have the first ride of the day. Of course, that could be scary if it's not, you know, working. But anywho, in other news, it looks like they're painting the Ninja. Looks nice. I don't know. Do they do that every year, or are they just showing us this year? I don't right. know. I don't know. But it's, it's nice they're the doing it. first time. They're also painting the Laclede's right as you walk in the park, a little uh, gift area. What's a Laclede's? Laclede is from like uh, Pierre Laclede. No, like what? What is that shirt? I don't think I've ever. Oh, it's just they just Isn't sell. One? They just sell shirts and oh, stuff, you know stuff okay, when you first yeah. walk in. So okay, not okay. Not. Pierre Laclede is one of the uh, like founding fathers of St. Louis. I think is that right? <laughs> so that looks good. Let's look at and then over by the funnel cake. Uh, the restaurant, they are redoing the whole cement area. It looks, it's going to be look in pretty good because they still have that old like rock ground. So the new cement area will be nice to house the zero weight lines. Now this, I don't, I don't ever remember seeing this before. Have they always had Bugs Bunny gargoyles above the Emporium, or is that what it's called, the Emporium? I don't know, but uh, they have Bugs Bunny statues. I don't know if they've always been there. I've never seen them before or paid any attention, but they're if they weren't there, they're back. They got a new roof going on the soundstage, a building they never use. But they, it's getting a new roof. Yeah. All right, maybe, maybe they'll use it now for something. And then finally, over by where Bone Jovi performs, and the old site of the RC cars, I still miss those. Uh, we used to, uh, they had like stations with wheels and you could drive the cars. Uh, it's been kind of a dead area, some, except some for Bone Jovi. But they're putting a seating area over there, so that'll be nice. Might as well. So Six Flags is really doing a lot. I'm kind of... Looking forward to going on uh, opening day. Hopefully we get to go and just seeing all the new uh, updates. Still no updates on any kind of Joker Carnival of Chaos. I assume it'll probably just be a big hole until Memorial Day and then they just miraculously appear. Six Flags St. Louis can go from having nothing to a full ride in like a week, which kind of blows my mind. So what are we doing today, Caleb? We're watching stuff. Yeah, we don't really have anything else to do. So we're gonna to react to our own video. Wow. Uh, I believe this is from 2017? This is from May 25th, 2017. I believe this is the opening day of Spin Sanity. Jeez. This is our for my birthday. This is our most watched Six Flags video. I haven't watched it since 2017, I don't think. So this will be about seven years old. Caleb's. So I was still six, though, right? 
Here we are again at our yeah, two days favorite your place. Where are we at? Will you and I think yeah, I still have that same Voltron shirt that I'm going to be showing off. So let's watch it and see, uh, yeah. see what this sounds like. Our old entrance. Right. Insanity opens up in two days, but they let they're letting season pass holders on today. It's a certain time. Season pass holders sure are getting we'll a, a preview. Yeah. You want to go on it before they open it up? Mm. No. We'll see. <laughs> Caleb's saying no. We don't want to stop till we get enough. We have to go through metal detectors every time we come in, right? Yeah. So how did this guy? How did this I've guy get through with those guns? Say that joke how did he get through the metal detectors? I don't know. No, Caleb is gonna try. What's with my diamond the claw hey, 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 So he can win a Nintendo Switch. Oh, you're trying to win a Switch, bro. Or Xbox One, yeah. iPhone Seven Plus, or PS Four. It's two dollars. Yeah. I think your odds are about point zero 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 one percent. Uh oh, hold on. I think we got a problem here. We gotta get some tokens. And Caleb decided he wanted to do this one instead. Yeah. So put your tokens in there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're very you're very uh, nice. Thank you. You're welcome. The machine saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see how you do here. I don't think I want to switch. Those little grabbers are never going to grab those boxes. Should have done the plucky deck. Good thing is. I know. There's probably a, you got 12 seconds to make a decision. Oh, that was actually pretty oh, close. Oh. No! That was close. No Nintendo Switch today. I could have gotten that one. Yeah. That would have been easier. Well, that was fun though. Yeah. Alright, we're going to eat somewhere we've never eaten before. At the Fresh well, Cafe. The Fresh Cafe. Cafe. We got some teriyaki kicking chicken boneless wings. So we're going to see how remember. these are. They look pretty good. What do you think? They look good? Yeah. All right, we pretty much finished our uh, teriyaki chicken. Caleb wasn't a big fan of the teriyaki sauce, so we had to wipe it off. But he liked the chicken, right? You like the teriyaki sauce? it was pretty good. A little on the cold side, but... Um, I'll be trying this place again. It's pretty good. We're in line for uh, Mine Train. Mine Train. <laughs> Why is Six Flags called Six Flags? Hmm. That's a good question. Why is Six Flags called Six Flags? We'll have to uh, ask the uh, owner. You need to watch our video of the history of Six Flags. Available on Six Flags show. All real, real evidence. Caleb and I have just gone on the mine train. Yep. Yep. Now we're going to see what else we can do today. Hot time to be How uh, hot do you ride? Are you sizzling, a mad screamer, a white knuckler, or do you hold the bar? You're sizzling? What am I? Am I a mad screamer? <laughs> Caleb, are we really doing this? Yeah. Here we go. First ride on the Spin Sandy. I've only been on it. They just opened the ride up. I don't know what I'm in for here, but I hope I don't throw up. Oh god. This is great for me. We did it. We rode the Spin Sanity a day before it's officially open. Yeah, oh. And what do you think of the ride? It was, it was really awesome just when you That's pretty fun. When you get like all the way to the top, um, when you go down, it goes really fast. Yeah. And then, but it 
it just yeah, we just rode we it, just rode this. And then and then it just hurt and then it just squishes you. Yeah. Like it just squishes you. I have to say it was pretty fun. Yeah. That's them. Yeah. Why was I scared of this dude? You playing some Bon Jovi? Alright, we we just rode the log flume and what did we do um, at the end of it? Dabbed. We dabbed. So oh, is that what we dabbed on? Uh, dab uh, we were coming down. Oh my god. So that's what we did. Ugh. And I got a picture of it. And now we're in line for Your hands like cut off. And as usual on a day that's semi busy, we can't get any food. Just trying to get a pretzel with one worker for the line. We weren't moving, so we're moving on. All right, we gave up on getting the pretzel because the lines were too long, so we went in and got a chocolate chip cookie dough, ice cream in a cup. So how was that? It's probably better than the pretzel. Fun day, got the ride spin sanity. Only here a couple hours, but uh, we had a great time. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh my gosh. See ya. <laughs> Talk to you later. Hit like, um, give a thumbs up, and subscribe oh. for more adventure oh. adventures. Peace out. <laughs> that was good. Wow. That was our most watched video. Um, I don't really know why. But yeah, what? It's got over 50,000 views. Our most watched video for Six Flags. So, you were, you were loving it. This is when life was simple. Yeah. What do you think? It's making me sad now watching this. Um, now I have to drag him to Six Flags. Well, I mean, when you uh, get like no roller, what was the last time we got a roller coaster? It was probably that year. <laughs> it was probably yeah. tw 2017. The last time we got a roller coaster was a few months ago when Rookie Racer exploded onto the scene. Oh. <laughs> the one before that was Boomerang in like 2015 or something, before we were vlogging. Yeah, so... Which was a recycled roller coaster from another park. Yeah, so stop with these... What, what's the new ride that's coming? Or do they even have one? The uh, Joker Carnival of Chaos? Yeah, just scrap that. Put in... Put in... It look, it's supposed to be pretty good. Yeah, okay. From what everyone says. I'll, I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Alright, well... We'll see if there's another episode after this. We'll see what corporate thinks. We'll see what the viewership thinks. It's not looking good. We might have to, we might have to, I might have to make a few calls. Oh. See if I can get a superstar in here. Okay. Crank up the ratings. That being said, may the adventure continue. Like, subscribe, and blah, blah, blah. Bye, everyone.